This group of pilgrims is smiling for a good reason. After months of anticipation, they have finally arrived to see Pope Francis. Studying in Ireland, these two Nigerian priests never thought they would make it to Rome until a parish family gave them an unexpected Christmas gift. It's a lifetime opportunity. They just offered us to come to, Do to, come to Rome. I may never have the opportunity to come to Rome again. Pope Francis is someone who, who, who has passion for the poor. You know, he tries to, he, he doesn't believe in life that, is, that you have to exaggerate your, yourself. He's a, he's a big man up there, but he tries to associate with the lowly, the less privileged, the poor. You know, he has, he has passion. His classmate was also unable to contain his laughter, struck by the magnitude and emotion of the event. To have an opportunity to, to see the Pope and to listen to him, and I think it's, it's an experience that is worth it. Yeah, uh, an experience that everybody is looking forward to. Yeah, I, I'm so happy that I had that opportunity to listen to Pope Francis, you know, somebody who speaks from the heart. Prepared to take these messages back to their pastoral work in Nigeria, their hosts are also ready to carry the Holy Father's words to Dublin in light of his 2018 visit. Well, faith is to bring the Word of God to us, you know, and to encourage us to, to live our faith as we should. We'll give him a great cage, we'll afford you, which is 100,000 welcomes, and we look after him well, he will. It's these moments that are so special about Pope Francis's general audience. They create unforeseen bonds.